Damon first message. Everyone stoked? What's going on, everyone? There it is. I love seeing where everyone's where everyone's from. It's kind of cool. All over. We got people clocking in the middle of the night, which is awesome. Look at that chat. I would. I'd love to say that. Um, I hope I hope you guys are as, as stoked as I am uh, for the games, but it's it's really unlikely. <laughs> um, we put so much time into this. Um, Sam texted me um, the other day and he showed showed me our first text, which was like 2018. Um, it was the first time that I kind of heard about this, and it was like a secret project that he'd been working on, um, and it was to solve the problem um, that you guys. Uh, are now experiencing the solution of, um, which is just really cool. And uh, I've been tracking this for a really long time. Um, and once I think school put everything together, I was like, this is it. I think this is going to be the next thing. And so uh, I'm stoked for you guys, because as much as there are thousands of people who are joining the game, I will tell you right now, you are early. Like you are very, very early. Um, and it's going to be really sweet. And so It'd be kind of like joining Facebook in like 20, like 2006, <laughs> um, except if Facebook were a self-contained way of making money and educating people. <laughs> um, and so I'm just absolutely blasted for this because um, the biggest issue, because I've been educating um, for a while, either our licensees in the brick and mortar setting, 
um, even weight loss when I was, you know, actually in my brick and mortar gyms and, uh, and now. And the biggest issue that happens is once someone understands the how, they don't have the tools to do the what. And so it's a whole huge other skill set they have to have and put together. And Sam and the team just put, have just taken so much of the friction away. And so people who would otherwise be really good entrepreneurs and have the right mindset to do it, just haven't had some of the tactical skills to tie together an HTML. Like, just so you know, when we started this, there was like HTML sites and like there weren't website builders. It was a, this whole different stack of crap. But um, I think that there, I've met so many really wonderful entrepreneurs who are completely tech incompetent. And, and um, I think this will just tie the bridge over for many of those people who want to make money. Up them. And uh, I think school's the way to do that. So in 21 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just explain briefly what we're going to do on this call. Um, so, yeah, we're going to count down until 9 a.m pacific time which is in like 21 minutes 26 seconds that's what that clock's counting down to and that's when the games officially begin and by begin i mean like the leaderboards will start tracking new mrr from that moment forward um so we'll count down we'll just hang out i mean we can we can listen to some of this music we can um watch this clock countdown and then we can talk about stuff too i'm sure there will be some good ideas in the chat so let us know what you guys want to do um and then at 9 a.m as soon as that clock gets to zero we're actually going to light an official like olympic torch you can see it behind kirby there it's kind of small right now but we'll blow that video right up like when it's time um and we're gonna light that thing um sam and... called it a candle but i promise you it's more exciting than a candle <laughs> yeah i overfilled it with gas this morning so it's gonna go <laughs> it's gonna go when i light it um, <laughs> and yeah we'll light that that uh torch and then what we'll do is we'll screen share the leaderboards uh, of the school games and we'll like refresh it and we're going to watch the first few rankings pop up there um yeah the leaderboards update like every minute roughly so we'll be able to see some things on there live as they come through and see the first few people who are ranking um and yeah we have like no specific agenda we just wanted to do something fun hang out launch the games and you know the whole thing about the games is it's about you guys selling stuff and you guys building your business. So, you know, we're not going to pitch you anything on this call. We want to see how you do at growing your business. That's what the school games is all about. Yeah, and, and when Sam and I were putting together the, um, the training models inside of the games, we were at the forefront purposely wanted to keep them light because we wanted to give you guys as much room to be creative uh, as possible. Because if the more prescriptive we became, the more everyone's business would look the same. And that's kind of not the point. The point is to just really create the platform to let you guys build build what you want to build, learn what you want to learn, um, and then we'll help you tie those together. The bottleneck is so rarely information as well. The amount of videos and courses and books out there yeah and for people on that um don't know kirby yet um we got andrew kirby who's the third co-host on here to help us run the school games um because i'm very focused on the product like the platform and the features and the the engineering team and paul mosey is going to be doing the one day events and updating the training when we learn new things and thinking about how we can make your businesses better and also promoting the school games. So we need someone in the community every day who's there to just monitor everything and be the like the game operator, basically. Um, we came up with the name Game Host, kind of like a game show host, right? Um, and so Kirby's the game host, and you'll see a lot more of him in the school games community. Um, and if you have questions and stuff in 
about the school games, like if you just at Andrew Kirby in the community, he'll be able to help you out. And we're also going to, he's going to, Kirby's going to provide like comment, commentary like throughout the games too. We don't know exactly how we're going to structure it yet, but maybe like once a week or something, Kirby might do a live call like this. People can jump on and he might just screen share the, the live rankings and just comment on it. Like who's winning, who's up a lot in the past week, you know, what are they doing? And, you know, just treating this like a tournament or some games. And um, yeah, I think we're going to learn a lot from each other, not by like what we say and stuff, but by what we do. And yeah, it's it's very new and unique. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how it goes. Yeah, a big part of school that I, I love is the, the features that they built into it to help you crowdsource answers from your community. And because one of the biggest issues that people have is they're like, well, I don't have a level of expertise or whatever. Um, and the thing is, is like, you'll see us do this in real time. And so we're very much, I mean, a theme for those of you who know, who know my stuff, like I've been very much a meta person in terms of like, how can I create a book about offers that is in itself an amazing offer? How can I create a book about leads and then advertise it in a way using the stuff in the book? And so school kind of follows the exact same blueprint, which is we're going to like school and I partnered because I had a big audience and distribution. They had an amazing product. And so to the same degree, you can follow in those footsteps and just find somebody who has a big audience and then partner with them to use school as that product for them and put those things together. And then even within that community, you can partner with the audience to help crowdsource. Cause like you can either try and make Encarta for those of you who are old enough to know what Encarta is. Uh, it used to be this big, like, it was like all the really smart people in the world tried to put like CDs of like everything into one thing, which is just ridiculous now when we think about it. But it was like, you'd have like two bookshelves full and they'd have like A through Z and it would be like, you know, alligators. And then they'd have like a page on alligators and, and, and whatever. And then Wikipedia came in and just destroyed all of that because they crowdsourced the information. And so you're never going to beat the crowd, right? You're never going to beat your audience at being able to come up with solutions. And so we wanted to harness basically that power um, and give you the tools to harness the same thing within your community. And so it's like, I won't know how to do, like, I don't know how to do most things. <laughs> and so, but there is somebody who does know how to do it. And then because of how technology works, um, it consolidates production and it democratizes consumption, right? And so the best in the world at this one tiny thing can make it for everybody, right? And that's a, a a paraphrasing of Naval who paraphrased a guy who had a website from a long time ago, which Kirby turned me on to. Um, and so this whole idea is that um, you can get hyper niche. Like if you're just really good at finding customers on LinkedIn, then like you can just talk about that one little thing, right? Uh, if you're really good at, at fixing Hondas, then that's awesome. If you're really good at living on a teacher's salary, then that's cool too. Like it doesn't matter because the thing is, is internet's connected so many people that even if you are a vegan mom powerlifter who loves dogs, uh, there's another like 10,000 of those people. And you, as soon as they see your thing, they're going to be stoked about it. I think we saw um, a school on there, Sam and I were talking about yesterday, it was called, I think it was Deaf Academy. Um, and we were like, man, I guarantee you that when they run ads, that will convert because those people would love to be together. Like it just seems like such an obvious niche. Um, and so there's a lot of ways to skin the cat. And so as long as you guys um, leverage your audience rather than try and be a slave to it, um, you'll get all the benefits. When I was put as games host, I was saying to Sam, we need to do group coaching every day. We need to be checking in with everybody every minute to make sure everybody's staying accountable. We need to provide the most in-depth training, telling everybody exactly what they should be doing. And I'm going to start a podcast. I'm going to start a school games podcast. But as soon as we got the school games together, so much of that work was done by the community. Shout out to Matthew, who started a podcast called the School Games Podcast. Shout out to Danny Melanda, who provides some of the most comprehensive responses in the comment sections to everybody else. And shout out to Armin and Doug, who are top of the leaderboards, providing value to everybody. If you bring a group of people together, the amount that you have to do as the community host is very different. It's the core difference between an audience and a community. An audience is about you. A community is about the members. Yeah, I'm just excited to see all the different ways you can do this. Because I think what happens, 
what what kind of annoyed me about like courses and things is that they're very prescriptive and specific and it's like you have to do this and then everyone does that and then it's it's it doesn't work as well and it's not people aren't very creative because they think they just have to do that um and it doesn't align with them or something so they it doesn't feel right for them to do it so they they don't do it but they swear that no other way would work so they give up but honestly like so many different ways can work more ways than we could imagine um so instead of being like hyper pres prescriptive and being like this is the only way to do this we just wanted to like keep it high level like you need some traffic you need to make a community on something that's valuable and you can charge a price and you'll earn some money and you'll make you'll build a business right those core elements are, are always going to be true but how you do it the new the nuance of it like where you get your traffic from and everything there's so many different ways and we want to just see who like what what you guys do and then who's ranking on the leaderboards and then then we can just learn from those people so like when we do these one day with hormozy things we can just mastermind and like brainstorm about what worked what didn't work for everyone and improve together like someone might be real good at figuring out about page conversion rates someone might be good at figuring out ads to drive traffic to an about page someone might be good at figuring out how to like include a school call to action on a youtube channel or how to get school members from like twitter or instagram different people will figure out different things and you know some people might be really good at getting their community engaged some people you know everyone will be good at a different part of this thing and we can learn from each other and and find the ultimate way to play this game um and the one day things are going to be uh recorded so if so we get to learn from those too um and so every month there's going to be new players new tactics new strategies and new ways to play the game we're also going to evolve the product like the actual platform features along with the training so you know like we we already know everyone wants like landing page stats for their about page they would also like to be able to track that about page so they could run ads to it right we also know that everyone wants an affiliate program for example um for their members and so as we release new features it's going to change the way you can play this game so i don't think it'll ever be boring because with new players coming in with different styles and different different ideas of how to play and with new features coming in that change the underlying rules and, and everything it's the innovation is going to be pretty cool um and you guys all get to come on this ride with us you know in nine minutes yeah <laughs> 10 minutes uh to piggyback on what sam said i mean he's talking about multiple games and um i would encourage you to think about it that way because we have this uh, always desire to have some sort of finish line and at least in every single piece of content I possibly make, I try and break against that. Um, because like, if this month, like 10 of you will win, right? And then the 10 of you who referred will also win uh, by proxy. But everybody else, you didn't lose. And that's what I wanna be like really clear about. Because if you become, if, let's say you're number 11 on the board and you get your business to whatever, $15,000 a month, all right? Did you lose <laughs> or are you like, are you fucking stoked? Right? Of course you're stoked. And so the idea is like, even if you don't quote, get on the top 10 this month, new tools, new weapons will get released into the environment, which then some players will be better equipped with those weapons and then just start crushing. And so the games are going to be fresh all the time. And from a, um, from a crowdsourcing thing, I want to, I want to give you like a real world example of this. So I owned, I owned six gyms back in the day. Um, and the the biggest gym, like the most successful gym I had, did about six hundred thousand a year top line. Um, fast forward, you know, five years, I ran a process that's almost identical to what we're doing with school, so I know it works. Is that I would basically zone in on what the biggest issue people were having was. So let's say it was churn at the gym, and then I would go to all thousand of the gyms that we had um, at the time and be like, okay, who here has less than 3% churn and had maintained it for six months or more? And there's maybe 20 guys who've done that. So we're talking like the top 
0.2% of my audience. And then I would pull them up and I'd say, okay, every, like, let's share all the stuff that we're doing. And so then when I got all of the notes down, and this is the con consulting process that I used to do before I like got into the, the internet world or really the gym world. And then um, I put all that together, we put it into a simple playbook and then we'd release it to everyone. Right. And so to give you context on how crazy it is, my best gym ever did 600,000 and fast forward five years, the average gym that was the gym lord did 600,000. And so it's not like all the gyms we were able to create using everyone else learnings created gyms way bigger than the gyms that I had because they started where I stopped like that was like the baseline and then it just improved from there and so it'll be the same thing here in this community like we're going to we're going to make communities a very dangerous business model I mean that in a good way um like it's going to be really cool to see all the different ways that people are getting traffic and we're going to be sharing those things together because one of the big benefits of how the school games works is that everyone wins when everyone wins and so if somebody's got an amazing Twitter tactic or whatever, if somebody else learns that tactic, it actually benefits the person who, who, who brings it. Here's why. If somebody else brings customers who are even like yours to the platform, then there are more potential customers for both people. Like that's, that's why this gets really cool. And that's how school continues to grow because as everyone brings customers, those customers, believe it or not, when people start buying education, they buy more than one thing. Uh, they frequent multiple schools. And so that's the wheel. It just keeps spinning. And so the more people who get good at traffic, the more people bring customers to school. And then the more those customers frequent more schools and the, and the wheel spins, right? And so I totally envision uh, the school games like a video game, except like when you go and like learn a new skill, instead of getting a video game token that you can only change for like new skins, uh, like you get it in the real world because it works the same way. Um, and so that's, that's definitely been, I, I think I speak for, for, for Sam and, and, and I together there, like, that's been the goal here. It's like, how can we make this as fun and easy as possible? Because people get so good at video games so fast. And it's like the ability to learn is there. It's just like, we should apply it to something that actually helps people in the real world. Yeah. We were inspired a lot by esports for the school games. Like, you know, if you're a professional counter-strike player, it can be a career and you can enter tournaments, you can win prizes, right? And there's a, um, you can even watch those players play. And when I was young and learning how to play, I would find my favorite player who just resonated me for some reason. I don't know why, I just like the style. And I would just watch those videos over and over. I'd slow them down to like 0 0.25 speed and watch and then I would watch them play when they were moving their mouse to learn their spray patterns and stuff. And I, I bought the same equipment they had. And I got better really fast because I, I was able to like see how the best players played. And there's making money on the internet. It's like something everyone wants to do now. Like I guess the core thing about school is to earn a full-time income doing the thing that you love online, right? Like being able to just do your thing that you love all the time and for that to be a career, I think that's the best thing that a person can really have. And we want to make that possible for like, for a lot more people. Um, and so turning, making money online, doing what you love into some kind of game where there is different players and you can see different rankings and things, um, I think it'll inspire a lot more people to do it. And I think we'll all get better from each other. Uh, and yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Like one thing I wanted to do was just make it fun. Um, so yeah, that's like the vision for it. And from my understanding, a lot of the school engineers used to be video game developers, right? Yeah. So they've taken the things that they learned from making video games fun and then applied it to business. Speaking of engineers, massive shout out to the engineers. They don't get enough credit. They're behind the scenes, but whilst there's quite a few people here, massive shout out to all the school engineers for making such a simple platform. But when you see the behind the scenes and how complicated it is, you would never understand the amount of work and hard work they've put into making it a nice, simple, fun platform to use.
Yes, they're definitely the main thing that makes school good, to be honest. Like, the engineers are like the hidden people behind the scenes, but they're, you know, school's ultimately a technology company, right? So it's only as good as its engineering talent, and ours are exceptional. So I'm sure a lot of them are probably watching this. So thank you, everyone. Thanks, all, all of our school engineers. And from from my perspective, you know, I've had, if you can only imagine the amount of people who've tried to ask me to promote something, uh, I'll just say that it's been a lot um, over the last four years. And um, the only reason that I was willing to associate and go so heavily into school was because I believe in the product. Because at the end of the day, like I can, like I, anyone can sell something once. Right, like you can tell anybody one thing one time, but in order to have something that really makes meaningful impact, the thing has to be good. And so when I saw the success people were having on school, um, I had multiple different things that kind of added together to, to create the like, this is the thing that I want to, this is the thing, this will be it. Um, I had my team independently do a, a big look at the whole marketplace. Uh, this was outside of Sam. Um, and they independent because they didn't even know I knew Sam uh, said they were like, we think school is the best platform and here's all the reasons. Um, and so that happened. I also had a ton of uh, friends who had shifted their communities on a school and they're like, dude, it's not even close. Like, it's way better. Like, it's just and they were like a lot of them said like they couldn't put like their finger on. It. They're like, it's just better, like just for a hundred small reasons. And the more I've learned on the back end, the more I can tell you, like the engineering team just absolutely murders it and slaves over getting the details right. Um, and as somebody who spends six hours a day, you know, for a year and a half to write a book, <laughs> that's like 160 pages. I can appreciate that. And so now we are 30 seconds from the, uh, <laughs> the torch lighting. I hope you guys are, are, are getting as excited as I am. I feel like we need the music, Sam, DJ okay. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I better figure out how to do that. Gotta... <laughs> like, we need to make your video big, right? Can everyone still hear the music? Is or did the music just stop when I did that? Stop. Oh, music's gone. That's fine. Um, let's light this torch. So I've got to get Kirby's thing spotlighted. Can everyone see Kirby's screen big? Nice. We've got a 15 second walk for Sam to come from one end of the office to the other. Oh, he's running. <laughs> Could have got a fire extinguisher. Hey. The games have begun. <laughs> Get that crackle in the microphone. Watch the microphone set on fire. <laughs> nice. I'll just leave this burning. As long as it doesn't out. fall on me. <laughs> Get it in the frame. There it is. That was such a pain in the ass to organize for this. <laughs> that was such a pain in the ass to organize for this. It probably took me like 10 hours of logistics to, but I think it's worth it. All right. I'm going to go back to my computer. It's actually a super legit torch. Sam, Sam sent me a close up yeah. picture of it. There's like little engraving, bump, like Olympic stuff. It's very cool. Time to check the leaderboards.
So guys, now as you guys start getting members in your communities who start paying, uh, you'll start appearing on the leaderboard. All right, so you can actually check that in real time. Everyone will be able to see it. And um, just as an added kudos or another reason that I like school and the school games overall is like, there's so much posturing online and so many people who like, you know, take screenshots that are fake or they use awards they won seven years ago to just for something completely different to justify buying something from them today. And um, school just takes a huge stance of transparency on just showing what is. And so uh, these leaderboards will be real time and you'll be able to see everything. And so no one can fake anything, uh, which is great. So that the right people are getting the right amount of attention uh, for actually providing value. So if anybody has an email list, you have some followers on Instagram, now's a good time to promote your school community. It's probably the easiest time to get on the leaderboards is right now and for the next 27 minutes. So if you have anything ready, now's the time. Right, let's see how these leaderboards are going. Well, there we go. I've got some music for the leaderboard count countdown. Aaron with 999 MRR makes it to the number one spot from the get-go. Nice. Next up, that's the question. Only school had a gambling feature where we could gamble on who we thought was going to win the school games. Oh man. Oh, well, there it is. Also, a reminder, uh, you see the bottom one there? So on the top end, the top, you know, the top 10 uh, school groups that increase MRR over the next uh, 27 days, or whatever the, the countdown is, uh, obviously win the one day and the people who referred them. So refer people if you think they have like big audiences, because you could probably just win off of their communities. Um, the other piece is for everyone who's not there, if you just get three people on, uh, you'll get all the access to the, the full recordings of those days. And so it just looks like a fun incentive for you guys. Um, I did the same thing for, for, for my, my book launch. I was just like, just, just send some friends to it. If you just do that, um, you unlock a whole bunch of stuff. And so you get basically the same benefit, obviously not in person, um, but you're still going to learn a ton um, from those recordings because you're going to see what the best people are doing like right now. And one of the reasons that we wanted to keep it that way was that tactics will change, platforms will change, um, what's working will change. And so you, we wanted everyone to have like always the most up-to-date stuff um, to help them grow their communities and grow their businesses. Worth noting that Kai here in the number five spot has partnered with a Geometry Smash YouTuber. So he's done what we're talking about around partnering with big YouTubers. So it can definitely work. And I'm excited to see where he ends up. Yeah, I just shared the link to the leaderboards so you can see them here. We've already got 10 people ranking. They update roughly every minute. Um, and you just got to refresh it to, you know, to see the latest thing. Um, and we're going to start by showing... Yeah, I think we'll show up to 20 initially to see... So you can see if you're close to getting into the number 10 spot. Um, and we can show more if, if we want. We'll just see how it goes. Um, yeah. We probably put so much pressure on the engineers. We hyped them up and then told them all to go to this page and refresh it. <laughs> I just love this because there's so many things where you're like, I don't know if this could work. It's like, well, here's real time data to show you that this actually works. And I think it is the world's simplest business model that costs nothing to start. Um, like, yeah, go, go bring traffic to your page. And then this when... group is cool. Like Kai, Kai's one here. He literally shows you how to play Geometry Dash, a video game. Um, 
for nine bucks a month. Like, this is the kind of stuff that I love. Like, it's his hobby, like Geometry Dash and um, teaching people like how to play better. It this is the this is the thing that I love about the internet, is that you can really make an income about on on the topic of anything. It really all the all that really matters is how passionate are you about it really. It's like if you're super passionate about anything, it's like contagious to other people. They want to be around that. They want to be passionate about something. Um, and yeah, that's the thing that I love about the internet, and that's what. Those are the kinds of things I want to see emerge from the school games. Oh, we've got 13 people now. What do you guys reckon so far? Has this been a fun way to kick things off? Fun, super fun fire. Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. So cute, someone said. I think they're talking about you, Sam. Thanks, Kubi. <laughs> I just noticed the classic painting behind Sam. <laughs> oh, that one? Yeah. I am. It's a great mood setter. <laughs> this is cool. This is great. For you guys who are new, like I, I think this will be a really cool. I was, I was messaging Kirby. Like I think this is gonna be one of those things that we look back on. Um, it's kind of like the beginning of the next era, um, and I think I'll, this is this is gonna be really big. I think a lot of people are, are going to be able to finally get businesses started and or and or convert their businesses into more profitable online, easier businesses that require fewer people to run and just fewer moving parts and just provide value. Like it's all it's going to come down to like if your community is really good and you provide good stuff like it will grow it just is that way and we're going to continue to do things at school to just help the best people with the best communities get the most people because we're also incentivized for that too like we want school to be the most enjoyable valuable platform out there and so a lot of that is is having the people who have the best communities get more get more people in their schools i've been on school for around three years now and have one of the biggest communities on the platform. And in the last couple months, the growth that school has been experiencing has been pretty crazy. Um, and I know, Alex, both you and I are a big fan of the quote from Warren Buffett that what boat you're in is more important than how hard you row. School's a great boat to be in. I'm so glad three years ago, for whatever reason, I started a school community because it's created so many opportunities. In the Sam's point, it's one of the only businesses where like being the host of the party allows you to benefit. Uh, like you just, you host the party, right? Um, and so like the product itself is the value that you're able to provide the community and that your community can provide one another. Uh, and so it takes a lot of the onus off of you. You just have to be the organizer and school gives you all the tools to make it really, really easy. We've got the top 19 rankings so far. I actually wasn't sure if it was going to happen this fast, to be honest. <laughs> Imagine we all just sat here. Nothing. Yeah, there's, there's no one. <laughs> we just put on the music and just sit silently. <laughs> uh, climbing. Oh, we've got the top 20 now. Nice. That only took 11 minutes. Yeah, if we continue at this rate, uh, <laughs> by the end of the by the end of the month, people are just going to be, uh, you know, printing money. Uh, this is great. Oh, Sam, do you want to talk about, um, because some people will join, you know, four days in right like some of you guys might have friends who are like oh shit, this is cool do you want to talk about that sam yeah yeah so the school games is always rolling and like evergreen um so you can join whenever you want so like if someone just joined now they could 
start and they could launch and start ranking on the leaderboards. Um, Cause we don't want to tell people, Oh, you can only start if you're ready for the beginning of the month. Cause if you come in halfway through or one week in, you got to wait a lot of time. So you can, you can play whenever you want. Um, and the leaderboards will two days before the end of each month. So, you know, Feb 27th at 9 a.m. Pacific, the leaderboards will like freeze and it will capture and save a snapshot of the exact rankings at that time. And we'll preserve it in school games history so that everyone can look back and, and see those winners. Um, and then that gives us two days to announce all of the winners, celebrate them and everything. Um, and then prepare for the start of the next um, the next challenge, which is the first of every new month, right? And then the leaderboards will basically reset back to zero for the next month, but it's not really reset, it's just a new leaderboard. So you'll be able to see, there'll probably be tabs across the top here, like January, February, March, April, May. And it, so you'll be able to see the current one, but you'll be able to look back in the past. Um, so if you don't win the first time round, like you can have another go the next month. Um, and and yeah, it's just, it's ongoing. Um, and the one day with Hormozy event, uh, the first one I think is the 30th of March. So roughly, we wanted to do it roughly like three weeks after the end of each um, games so that people can book flights and that kind of stuff. Um, and we're going to do one of these every single month, roughly three weeks after the games end each month. And yeah, if you can't attend the specific one, like that's fine. We'll, we can let you attend like one of the next ones. So don't freak out about timing and stuff. Um, and so after the, at the, after the, the leaderboards freeze, we'll announce the winners, we'll communicate to the top 10. You can see this line here, which shows the top 10. Um, everyone above this line gets the one day with Hormozy thing. And then, yeah, we'll we'll just DM you, like, as soon as you've won. Um, and then everyone who gets three paid members will unlock the one day with Hormozy event recording. So we're going to record the whole thing um, and we're going to upload it and make it available to, to everyone who's in the school games that gets three or more paid members. So it should that should make it really like accessible to, to almost everyone. Um, and that way you get to kind of be a fly on the wall listening to a full day of these winners talk about what they did to win and you get to learn. And then there's another games and you get to have another go at it and yeah, eventually you'll you'll figure it out. It's just like playing a video game, honestly. Like the first time you play, you go into a server, you're probably not going to be that good. Like compared to people that have been playing for a long time, right? That doesn't mean you you suck. It just means you haven't you haven't practiced much. Um and you're new, right? And so yeah, I'm sure that with being able to see who's winning and what they're doing and getting those monthly drops of of information that from the winners, you'll be able to to figure things out. You know, Another? I'll just oh. up on as well. For those of you who are who are newer and you've like never done anything before, it's okay to have a free community first. In fact, I think for many of you, that will be a great first month or first two month strategy to build, like just get, get, get used to running a community, uh, meet, meet new people, understand the things that they want. Because one of the cool things is you can always just say like, I'm going to be charging for this later, but if you want access to it for free now and forever, uh, that's a pretty good offer. And so you can kind of seed the group, kind of get the party going with a handful of, you know, hot chicks and uh some good music and then like once it gets a little bit crowded you can start charging for tickets at the door right if you think about the analogy that way and so if you're um because the, the school games will repeat 
It's like if you if you give yourself a, a 60 day runway to to get everything going and then say like I'm gonna win month three, then that's a fine strategy too. Because at the end of the day, like even after you win, you're still gonna have a business. <laughs> so like the point is to is to get you going and get you off the ground making money. And then at that point, like you've already won. Like and you just continue to win the real game, which is like life. Tyler, first person across 1K MRR. Nice work. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, if you just add a thousand MRR every every uh, every 17 minutes, you just <laughs> you're gonna be murdering it. <laughs> it was that 100K a day and added new MRR. Yeah, keep it going, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> Potentially a good analogy is that. For everybody on this call, this ceremony marks the start of a race. For some people, it's a short race, 30-day sprint to try to get into top 10. For other people, it's more of a marathon to start free community for a few months, eventually switch to monetize and then try win. But for everybody, it's a race and for everybody, there's an end date. And after the end date's finished, you still have the business, like Alex said. Yeah, business is an infinite game. Like there is no end you the people i've noticed that are the best play to keep playing they like playing so much that they don't want to stop so they keep playing to support themselves to keep playing right and those are always the people that do the best and it's the people that fixate on the outcomes too much that that get discouraged and quit um and it reminds me a lot of this saying from like Michael Jordan. Uh, he said that the secret to being the best basketball player in the world is to first fall in love with the game. Because if you really love it, then you'll want to do it all the time. And if you do it all the time, you'll be very good and you'll be successful. And so when he teaches, when he coaches children on how to play basketball, he advises them like play early and learn late. So like, first of all, forget about like competitions and stuff. Just, just play and enjoy the, enjoy the like, enjoy basketball. And then you'll keep showing up and you'll keep, you'll keep getting better. And then you'll naturally find yourself winning. Um, so, you know, a lot of people here that are going to be high ranking on the leaderboards, they've already been playing for a while, right? Um, so if it's your day one and it's their year three, it's kind of unfair, but you get to learn from them. And who knows what you will be like in your year three. Mm. Also, um, one thing that's unique with the, the school games is that you can only win the top 10 once. And so you don't have to worry about like, well, are these are these guys just going to win every month? It's like, no, like if someone wins, then they're they get not slid off. They obviously keep the business, but like they can only win the one day one time um, just to give you guys some some context there. And um, I think someone asked, like, uh, won't people who just have twelve hundred dollar a month or, you know, five thousand dollar a month things win? Um, the cap is nine 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 on the on the continuity as it currently stands. So, um, no, that's not the case. Yeah, and we're this is the first time we're running it, so we're gonna learn things. Um like and we can we could uh, like create categories for the leaderboards, for example, so you could see who's doing the best at different price points or in different like um niches, like art or music or whatever, right? Um and we might even look at different metrics later, like who's the best at about page conversion rate. Um, who's the best at engagement, who's the best at different things, right? Um, so this is just where we're starting. But yeah, it's a, I think this is a good place to start. Here's our top 20.
And we're, we're calling it at 9.30, if you're curious, or Pacific, so eight minutes. I love watching this. Yeah, I know when we built this feature, everyone in our team was just like refreshing it and like addicted. It's like watching fire. You know what I mean? I actually shoot. Did the torch go out? It has gone out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't go forever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I, you give, I give Layla a love plant and then it dies. I was like, this symbolizes our eternal love <laughs> in this fucking world. <laughs> you should give a cacti. Yeah, good call. Right? Low maintenance. Um, well, sweet. Well, I'm pumped for you guys. Uh, I would encourage you to encourage one another. Um, share the good stuff in the community. It literally benefits everyone. It'll benefit you too. I will say that as somebody who has, like I said, been educating people even in weight loss and then, and then gym owners and then obviously now, um, you learn more from teaching than you do from anything. Like as soon as you have to take what you've done and then try to like teach it to somebody else, you get a completely different level of understanding. Um, and so I think I would encourage you guys to do that. And the best, the best pieces of content school already has a great feature, um, where you can actually embed those things into your own kind of courses. So if somebody puts like an amazingly in-depth, uh, post on how to do something, you can actually include that in your curriculum because I don't, I don't know about you, but like, I would have some mega members, some super members, uh, in our, in our communities in the past where they would just like do these amazing breakdowns, but like based on the technology that we're using at the time, they would just disappear. You know what I mean? With other posts, they would just go away, but you can, you kind of eternalize those really good things. And I think that further incentivizes your community because they'll get credit for the work that they've done. Um, and kind of just kudos also in the, their status rankings and whatnot, but just, you know, real world kudos for, for helping everyone out. In the top right of any post, there's the three dots and then you can click pin to module to save the best posts, like Alex was saying. It's a really sweet feature. And it's all in alignment with like, you don't have to come up with everything yourself. Like a lot of people in your community will, like if you don't, if you teach people how to fix old Hondas, like somebody else might be a master uh, mechanic and know how to do something that you don't know how to do. And then they just make a full breakdown. It's like, great, just add that to your module on how to fix carburetors or whatever. Yeah, I think that is, it's a hard concept to grasp at first, this whole like crowdsourcing versus just being the guru or expert. I think that's something that's going to change in the industry. So like before it was just one person teaching you something hyper-specific, um, but crowdsourcing is, is a much better model because everyone can try all of these different things and the best stuff rises to the top. Um, and so bringing a group of people together that share a common goal. So no, no one might know the answer, but everyone has the same goal, right? Then you get everyone together to figure out wh what are we, what problems do we need to solve? What is the priority of these problems? And then, okay, let's try to solve this one. Everyone goes out, tries different things. Someone figures something out, brings it back. It inspires someone to come up with something from that idea, improves it. And together you pull you pull together the, all of the problems and all of the solutions. And it's an insanely effective way to build a, a business. Um, it is literally how we built school, by the way, like this whole company in a community called School Community. You can see the categories like report bugs, ask, request a feature, ask a question about the product. So people would say, oh, I've, I'm having this problem, or this is confusing, or we need this, or we need that. And then we built it for them and, and said, here you go. And I cannot imagine building school without that. And I think that communities, you know, school is a community platform, but it was built by the community, right? And so the best video games are like that too. Like the, a lot of the best businesses are honestly powered by the community. Um, and so I think the communities that figure out how to crowdsource the problems and solutions together, they're going to be really cool to, 
to look at. And I think they're going to be very successful businesses. And also just a lot more exciting to be a member of because you get to do something and contribute instead of just sit and watch videos and and take orders, basically. Um, but yeah, we'll share more about that as we get in, into the games. Ian, as a, as a, a little um, plug for this for those who are like, I'm still not sure what uh, what to start with. An easy thing just to get to school school free because I I do take the assumption that school is going to um, continue to grow at the rate that it is already growing and that rate is increasing. Um, everyone's eventually going to be on school, and so uh, you're kind of in a unique position where like you can invite and get credit for those people. Like if you were early on Facebook, imagine getting paid a dollar for every person that you were able to get onto Facebook because that's where everyone was going to be anyways. Um, but school is like unbelievably generous affiliate commissions right now they're 40 percent for life that may change in time but like it'll whatever you get will get grandfathered and so like if you refer three friends it actually becomes a revenue stream for you <laughs> which makes it uh kind of gives you endless chances uh to get it right so if you know that people are, like who are going to eventually get on here it's like get them on under you um and get your the entire thing free anyways with a little bit of profit so three people covers school plus a profit yeah so to do that you just click on this affiliates tab here and you can just grab your link and you can share it with someone and they will be able to um to join school and then you will get 40 percent of that revenue and like homozi said if you just get three people on you're making 20 bucks a month instead of paying 99 um dollars a month so if i have a community and i invite 100 people into my community about hondas and fixing cars if three of those people from that community uh then just start school accounts on their own and they use the same email do i get credit for that are you asking me yeah i'm saying if I, no, no, i'm saying like if i so if I'm somebody who has a who starts a community and people go into that community, then they start their own, like yes, some of my community yes. members start schools. Yes. So yeah, if any of your community members decide to make a community, we automatically attribute that to you. We call it auto affiliate, um, but you, yeah, you can, so, you know, if you build a community, it's probably gonna become free for you anyway, if you get enough members or you'll actually end up making a profit on it because some of your members might get an idea to start one and then you'll get a part of that. Um, but another way is you just click on this tab, you copy this link and you just share it with some people. Um, and I swear a lot of people underestimate how much you can make as an affiliate. Like I've been on some affiliate programs where I just use the product and then I just told people what I used. I didn't even try that much to promote it. And I would make like more than a million bucks over a few years, like probably on average, like 30 to 40 grand with some of the per month with some of these affiliate programs. Now that's, you know, with a lot of customers. So, but it's, I swear people underestimate how much you can actually make as an affiliate. Uh, it's a really good way to, to make money online if you don't have something to sell yourself. You can help sell someone else's stuff. Yeah. Brady in the chat is doing 3K to 4K a month from affiliates. Yeah. Shout out to Brady. Yeah. I mean, fundamentally, like it's it, making a beauty is, is an awesome way to do it. And because if you just think about it, that is the product, like the community and the access that you give. You can also just introduce people to school and that's also a product. Right. And so either one, if you feel like the people, you know, would be more inclined to doing something like that then great. And if you introduce somebody to school and then they have a massive community and then they win the games, you win the games too. Uh, and so if you have somebody you're like, dude, if this guy got on or this huge <clears throat> YouTuber, like use the, use the one day with me. If that, if that's a helpful, you know, prize to get somebody on, it's like, dude, we could win this together. If you just bring, you know, I'll run everything. I'll be, I'll be games host. You know what I mean? For, for this community. Um, and I'll run it and we can do some sort of, you know, revenue split on it but we can win this thing together and make money and so you don't have to do this on your own and i think that's probably the biggest hopefully the biggest belief that we can break here is that like you assemble a business more than you build it 
Like you're like, okay, I'm going to go assemble. I'm going to go bring the traffic piece in. I'm going to go get the product piece. I'm going to go get the delivery portion and the content. Like those are different pieces and it doesn't have to be you. In fact, mm -hmm. it's very rare for it to be you to, that does all three. And if you do all three, it's actually harder to scale because in time you need somebody who's going to specialize in each of those things if you really want to do it well. And so it makes sense to partner when it make, when it, when it makes sense uh, rather than just uh, like go find your three best friends. I would encourage you to find people who have different assets than you. Like if someone's re like really like you can be the person who loves school and can help manage all that stuff, but somebody else can have the traffic and already know what content will be good for that school community. Like you might not know shit about cars, but you know how to run a community. And then you can go get somebody who knows a lot about cars to send their traffic in. Yeah, that is something I swear so many people online struggle with thinking they need to do it all themselves. Like I personally did. I would try to make content like YouTube videos and social media and stuff and try to build the product and run the business and doing all of those all the time you you always feel stretched um and then i just was like well, what if i partnered with someone like homosi and it honestly works so well it's unbelievable that i even went through that much struggle and pain before because homosi is bigger than i would ever get because he's like very good at it and and i'm not and i don't really like doing that and um and i just get to focus on the thing i want to do so it's like we both get to do the thing we love all the time and together we make the ultimate team and i swear that that is probably one of the biggest hacks or unlocks i've found in my whole career online so far um i wish i just had done that earlier um, and I think that's going to be a new pattern that we start to see with online businesses is partnerships and collaborations like that. Just because the amount of work it takes to be excellent at anything is full time. Like it's not even full time. It's like extra time. It's 12 hours a day. It's what you're breathing. It's the game that you love. Like Michael Jordan is saying is that, but the thing is, is that even within the business game, there are, there are small, there are, there, are, there are games within the game, right? There's the product game. There's the coding game. There's the, the marketing game. Like there's lots of other games that are involved and one person can't be excellent at all of them, especially at, at the scale. I mean, we're trying to go big. And so at the scale that we want to play at, um, you just need expertise. And so niching down in terms of what you are really, really good at and that you love doing, and then finding other people who compliment you and are also really good and obsessed with that other thing. Just everyone makes more and the entire product's better because think about, think about, think about that hypothetical business that has three horses that all are just obsessed with the one thing that they're focused on against one guy who's trying to do all three. Like it's not a contest. Like the three is going to beat the one every time. It just, they just have more resources. Um, and the way that the world works is, it is a very winner take all world. Uh, and so like just being that much better can sometimes get like, if you're 10% better, <clears throat> if you make a 10% better YouTube video, you don't get 10% more views. Sometimes you get 10 times the views because that increment creates such, such a, it's just every time people look at the decision, they're like, well, this one's better. And then they, and then everyone chooses that. Does that make sense? And so I would, I would approach it with that thinking of crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing things from your community, like in some ways partnering with your community on some level, then you can also consider partnering with people who have traffic or partnering with people who have interests in things. Like you don't need to do it alone. Yeah. All right. Well, we're at the end now. Here's the, I just refreshed the leaderboards. Here's the current top 20 and top, top 10 here. So congrats everyone here. And so we'll wrap up now. Give me, um, let me know what you thought in the chat. Cool. Good luck, everyone. Look forward to seeing you all in the School Games community and seeing you at the One Day with Hormozy Hangouts and some more of these, um, these calls. Let's get it. Appreciate you all. Let's go.